Um, following is going to start. Your character seems to be at a bit of a crossroads, sort of emotionally, from where we left him at the end of last season. Can you sort of tell us what's going to be happening to him, sort of emotionally, intellectually, now that he's sort of at a loose end without this nemesis that he's been chasing for two seasons? Yeah, so uh, you're right. I mean, I th I, the question is of course, it's a good thing that Joe is in jail. And of course, it's a good thing if I'm really able to um, push him out of my mind and out of my heart and all that kind of stuff. But does it leave a hole, you know? Does, does it leave a, a void? Um, and I think that for people who are in uh, this line of work, there is an element of it that I'm drawn to, you know, the, the danger. You know, I'm kind of a junkie for the uh, adrenaline, you know. And if I don't have the alcohol, I, I put the alcohol in because when, when, it, when Joe went out of my life, I put the alcohol in so I could mm -hmm. have something to, you know, take care of. Joe came back in my life and, you know, eventually I stopped drinking, you know. So there's like that weird, you know, kind of thing. Um, I think uh, we're going to... What what I love what the diff one of the big differences between this season and the beginning of last season was the beginning of last season I was pretending to have Joe gone you know because I had this mm -hmm. secret room and I was really wearing a mask of peace and you know, comfort and all that kind of stuff. This season I truly am happy. You'll see a lot of in the first episode I will smile a lot. <laughs> like you'll see teeth. That you didn't even know Ryan already had teeth. And uh, and and. And there is a, a, a beautiful um, woman who has, you know, come into my life, and, and the exploration of how uh, that character, how I'm able or not able to open myself up to that character, is going to be a big part of where, where things go character-wise. You know, it seems like he took a major step, and you know, at the end of last season, for a second, I thought he might have killed Joe, and mm -hmm. then the fact that he did. I thought that was a huge growth from just that beginning sure. of the season to that. How yeah. That? Yeah, because it's kind of a great, you know, it was kind of a great thing I thought from a writing standpoint, where you 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 have a guy that you've been hunting and hunting and hunting, and, and I I say all year, I, let's face it, I gotta kill this guy. This, this, that's what has to happen. And the, to, to come up to that moment where a man's, you know. You know, life is in my hands. You make that choice. Um, I think it's cathartic, it's cathartic, and that was the way we looked at it, and that's the way we played it. So, jumping forward from that, that's where this catharsis has led me a year later to where I'm, I'm at. Cool. Will we see that addictive personality you hinted at? Will we see that manifest again? I think that we have to always with any of these characters, uh, well, certainly with my character, see struggles. Am I going to do the right thing or the wrong thing? Am I going to put, put myself first or the people that I love first, you know? Am I going to continue to... Uh, I mean, I, 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 you know, I've certainly known quite a few addicts in my life and I, I, I know that it's not, it's not something that is like just over, you know? There, there is a, an ongoing struggle. So I think he's, he's struggling with it all the time. New York is much more of a character this season, right? Can you, and it's Ryan's hometown. Can you talk a little bit more about that? Uh, yeah, you know, I, I really lobbied for that because I sort of felt like um, you know, we're here, and we're here because of me, you know, personally, and I, I, I love it. I feel like it's nice to use the city, and we have it. You know, we've been, um, you know, sometimes we go out to the suburbs, but we've been in Queens, we've been a lot in Brooklyn, um, we've shot stuff already in, in in Manhattan, um, uh, you know, sometimes they go out of town, but it's. It, I think that story-wise, last year we had uh, a, a, a religious compound that was kind of up, up out in the sticks. That was almost like a forest, you know, um, and we had a lot of mansions. So those are the things that kind of took it out of an urban sort of set. But, but this year I think we're, at least so far, a lot, a lot more kind of New York centric. You know, I, I our, um, producing director, Marcos uh, Siega, the guy with the camera around his neck. I don't know if he's been here yet, but Coast takes a lot of beautiful pictures. He's a very, very good photographer. And put a, put a book together that we gave to the crew last year uh, that was 
shots of the crew, basically. Um, and there were a couple shots of actors, but mostly of the crew. And I was struck with the fact that visually, the scenes that we did in, in New York were just, to me, visually more interesting than, than landscapes and uh, you know, bushes. So. It also seemed like last year, the show really kind of found its groove a little more. Mm -hmm. It was like right off the bat, I go, yeah, I'm starting to really, I mean, I liked the first season, but I really got into it more the second season. You know, Joe, you know, his apartment, uh, Ryan's apartment, and the whole Joe thing, and then, uh, you know, his niece. I mean, it was just, a lot of things just fell into place for me. Did you guys feel that too, from the production side? Yeah, I mean, I had some, I had some moments that I felt like we were, there were times when I felt like it was, I, I wasn't 100% happy with where things were going, but for the most part, I think that, uh, you know, we're all proud of the show. We are all thrilled to get back to work. Um, we, uh, I, I'm, I'm very excited about the two guys that are, sh are show running this year because Kevin Williamson is off doing um, uh, Stalker, so he's he's not um, the head writer at this point. Uh, I think they've got great ideas, and I think it really does feel fresh. It feels new, and yet it still feels like our show. It's still scary. It still pushes the envelope, um, and uh, we were happy to get back to work. Thanks, everyone.